What's up guys, the Apple device here. Uh, today an application came out that lets you sync uh, as many iTunes accounts as you want with one device. So it's called Multitunes. Uh, go ahead, type in Multitunes to iTunes and uh, just search install it. After it's installed, it's just an application on your springboard. Go ahead and open up the application. This is how it looks. So uh, you will not have the iPhone, iPhone's computer. You'll just have default library. And what the default library is, is the computer that you're already synced with. And you will always be going back to the default library after you're, you've done syncing. But uh, how you get Ivan's library or Ivan's computer right here, you can name it whatever you want. That's what I named it. You want to click the plus sign right here. Type in the name that you want to name the, the computer that you're going to be syncing with. Type it in. Click done. And then just sync with that computer. And make sure you have it checked and then sync with that computer. And I'll demonstrate here in a second. So I'll just show you guys how it looks. So uh, I'll do my regular library, default, and this works not only music, it works everything except apps. And I'll just be demonstrating with music. As you can see, Elijah's iTunes, Elijah's Lib playlist, whatever. When I go back to Multitunes and check off Ivan's computer, which is everything I've synced with Ivan's computer, will stay with Ivan's computer, and I'll have to click on Ivan's computer in order to get everything that I synced with it. I'll click on it, like I already did, and open up music. And then, as you can see, now it has different. It has prayer and Russian worship. And see, they're actually in there and so on. So I'll show you guys how to do this. So I'll meet you guys on the other side of a computer. So once you're at a computer that's different than the one that you usually use, you want to open up Multitunes and click plus. And then just name whatever you, you want it to be named. I'll just call it um, the playlist. Done. And then you want to make sure the playlist is checked. Once that's done, you want to plug it into the iTunes. And make sure it's connect. From here, it's gonna detect it as a new phone, uh, like it's never been synced or never even been, been set up. What you wanna do here is click set up as a new phone or iPhone, which I'm using, and then uh, make sure right here down below, right there where it says automatically sync. You you go ahead and uncheck that and click con done. Then it'll be syncing, and what you can do is right here under music, click click on that, and then just just find the playlist you want synced. So I'll find a playlist, um, I'll just choose worship, and uh, untitled playlist, and I'll just apply. And right here you can either transfer the con um, apps if you want, I'll just click don't transfer, and you just pretty much wait. Once it's done syncing, I'll go ahead and get back to you guys. And yet this app is still open. Make sure this app is always open. Okay guys, it just finished syncing. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what I've gotten. Music. So, Untitled Playlist has all these songs in there. I'll go ahead and stop that one. And then, uh, Worship. I'll stop that too. And then I'll go back. And I'll click on my other playlist just to show you guys. Default library. And if you lose any applications or whatever, just go ahead, click back on default library and just reboot. And then those applications will be back on your uh, springboard. As you can see, Elijah, I'll just... Okay, so yeah, this, that's pretty much it. Same process for for uh, videos, photos, and so on. Everything except for apps, it will not sync apps. So, um, if for whatever reason some apps are missing after you've sunk, you wanna go, <laughs> sunk, uh, after you uh, synced with your iPhone to iTunes, go ahead, click on default library, and just reboot your phone, and boot it back up. After you've done that, they should be on there. And, and if anything, you can always message the, the developer on, uh, Cydia, just click on the page, you'll, you'll see down below the application name. So, okay guys, I'll catch you guys in my next video.